Good morning from the Pocono Mountains here in Pennsylvania. I go by the legend, joined by my wonderful girlfriend, Molly. In this video here, we're at the Kalahari Water Park Resort. And we're gonna show you all around, from all the water park and the slides and the pools, that kind of thing, to all the food available, the rooms, the giant arcade, everything there is to do here at this absolutely beautiful and gigantic hotel. I love the quote. Yeah, it is, it's really nice. All right, let's go explore the Kalahari here in the Poconos. Now, of course, we gotta start off the tour at the massive indoor water park, the signature element of the Kalahari Resort here in the Poconos, and this thing is massive. There's water slides and pools and rivers as far as the eye can see. Let's go take a look at all the different slides and offerings in that water park right now. Starting off here with this red and black slide, this is known as the Anaconda, and it is a water coaster style slide in that it goes up and downhill multiple times. Really good line, one of the longer slides in the water park, and it's actually a little bit a little bit gentler than some of the other water coasters you might ride out there. You ride in two passenger rafts, and also it's a longer ride, one of the longer slides you get out there. So if you're visiting on a busy day and you want a little bit more bang for your buck while waiting on a line, this one would be a good option. Also kind of the only one that's off on its own in the front right-hand corner of the water park. Now there are a ton of water slides over on the left wall of the water park, starting off with this green and blue slide known as the Wild Wildebeest. And wild, it's very, very true. Now this you ride in a cloverleaf style tube with a couple other people. And the signature feature of this water slide is a big wave wall, which is one of the most intense elements of the entire Kalahari indoor water park. It is wild. It feels like you're gonna fly right out of the thing, but I absolutely love this sign. Also, I love the coloring on this one, that blue and neon green, very, very vibrant. Um, this is a slide I wrote a couple of times. This light green and dark green water slide is the Barreling Baboon, and this one, its signature elephant is three mini funnels that you can see right there. This is a pretty fun ride. You ride in a clover leaf too, but a couple other friends, and also another one of those slides that feels a little bit longer than most. This next slide is the Tasmanian Twister, a very extreme slide. This is a body slide and it is a toilet bowl style slide. You just slide down and eventually you fall into a hole and drops you into a big old pool of water. Now I will note, this is one of those water slides where you definitely have to know how to swim as it is about seven feet deep. And it's a little bit disorienting. You might fall on your head, you might pop up and you're in the middle of the, the waterfall. It's, a, it's a, a great experience, but definitely have to be a strong swimmer to go on that one. This purple water slide is the Rippling Rhino, which is a one or two passenger tube slide. Now it's not the most wildest ride, but you do pick up some pretty good speed. So this is one I went on a couple of times. This blue speed slide here, that is the Zimbabwe Zipper, and it's a curvy turvy enclosed body slide. Now there were two more slides over on this side of the wall, but they were both closed during my visit. Uh, one is the Kenya Corkscrew, the other one I think is not active anymore, as there was a big gate out in front of it keeping people from going down. So I'm, I think one was just closed for the day and one is closed forever. Now, as you may have noticed with some of these descriptions and names, it's a little difficult to know which slide is which at the Kalahari, but they do have some signage that really helps you out, like this one here, where it shows you exactly the name of the slide and which slide it is. Also, kudos to whoever does their graphic design. Like, those logos are all absolutely fantastic for these slides. Also, a good way to know that if you might be afraid of one slide and you're not afraid of another slide, then you're not mixing them up if you, you use the maps and stuff like that. Another very useful way to know which slide you're gonna go down, as you're going up the stairs, you'll see tube, no tube, uh, two passenger tube, and all of those signs as you go up the stairs. Those are the colors of the slide that you'll be going down. One of the more gentle rides at the Kalahari Water Park is this one here, and this is known as Victoria Falls, the big blue family raft ride. Now you go down this one with a couple other people in a big old round raft, and it, you can tell from this picture here that you can see a lot of the rides at the Kalahari, they're in, they start inside, and they go outside, they might come back inside, they might go back outside, and I think that's just a wonderfully awesome design feature, you know, a good way to save space and make a, you know your buildings as small as they need to be. And this ride, pretty good, very solid, uh, a very long ride. I believe this was the longest water slide in the entire water park and a gentler one. So if you have some some kids that are just you know getting their their feet wet in the world of uh, big water slides, this would be a good first one to bring them on as you know you could go on with mom and dad and there's plenty of room in the tube and it's relatively gentle. What is not relatively gentle is this next slide, known as the Smoke That Thunders. This is the Tornado Slide, and it's kind of deceiving because it starts out very gentle. It starts out slow, but it does not stay that way as you go sliding down a very, very steep decline into a giant, giant funnel. And this is 
this is a great water slide. This, these are so much fun. Uh, you do ride in one of those cloverleaf tubes with a couple of other people. And I didn't get to go on this one at night, but I feel like it could have been really, really cool at night. And I love that they have one of these at an indoor water park. Just again, this giant funnel is all outside the building. Against the back wall, you'll find more water slides and the wave pool at the Kalahari. Now, it's not going to be the biggest wave pool you'll find. Obviously, this is an indoor water park after all, but it's actually more intense than it looks. Uh, really great to come in here, float around, bob up and down in the waves. And I love having the, the backdrop of these water slides in the background as you are in that wave pool as well. Now, let's talk about some of those water slides here. First off, you'd have two, a pair of tube slides that you ride with one or two people, the gray one being the elephant's trunk, and right next to it is the zigzag zebra. Now, that white, black, and gray series of four slides, that is the cheetah racer, and those are head-first mat racing slides, which you can race against your friends. And uh, these, this is another water slide where you can pick up some really, really good speed. Speaking of speed, let's mention the two speed slides at the Kalahari. And first of all, you've got that green slide. That is the Sahara Sidewinder. And this is just a speed slide. It's real quick. It is over before you know it. Now, right next to that, the orange and purple one, that is the Screaming Hyena. And that is a drop box slide. So if you don't know, haven't been on one of these before, you kind of stand up in a big glass coffin. It counts down three, two, one. And then the floor drops out from under you. And you go very, very fast through this tube. Uh, a lot of people like these slides. They're not my personal favorite, but it is quite the thrill. Now, if the big giant crazy slides are not your thing, maybe you have little ones. There are a lot of kids areas at the Kalahari Indoor Water Park, starting off here at Tico's Watering Hole, which is a really cute one. This is kind of for the, the middle-aged kids, and there's lots of different interactive things for them to play with, all sorts of toys and things like that. A ton and ton of kid-sized water slides, and the kids even have their own little kid size lazy river how adorable is that there's also some a lot of splash features over here and some different swings for them to play with a uh, little mini basketball hoops also a good place to take pictures of your kids on different you know water activities and little hippopotamuses and things like that for the youngest kids you'll probably want to spend a lot of time at coral cove and also the most adorable of the kids areas this is designed for the little toddler set now check out this beast of an attraction this is the splashdown safari the absolutely massive water fortress, kids splash area, little kids water slides, medium sized kids water slides that can be found pretty much in the center of the water park. And I, I absolutely love this. There's so many things for you to go in there and you could spray and splash your friends, different water buckets and things you could dump all over. Uh, a giant waterfall comes out of a gorilla's mouth. This is very, very, very cool. Uh, very one of the larger ones of these I've seen especially in an indoor setting and there's a bunch of water slides on the back end for kids Now nah, who doesn't love a lazy river and at the Kalahari there's actually two different indoor lazy rivers There's one in the front of the water park that surrounds the splashdown safari water fortress thing We just showed off and then there's going to be a second lazy river in the back of the park And one thing that's cool about the one in the back of the park Well, if you're getting off either the elephant's trunk slide or the zigzag zebra slide that pool goes right into the lazy river And that's that's pretty fantastic The Kalahari is home to two different basketball hoop pools and these are a lot of fun There's one in the front left corner of the park and one in the back right corner of the park And it's just a good time come out there shoot some hoops uh, Molly whooped my butt at horse twice here in the pool. That was a not my proudest moment, but still a fun time. In the middle of the water park, you'll find the Flowrider Surf Simulator. Now, it was closed for obviously maintenance when I was visiting, and that might happen at the Kalahari. Kalahari's open 365 days a year, and at some point they're going to have to fix up pools and slides. But the Flowrider, it is awesome. You could bodyboard, you could surfboard, depending on your skill level. I'm going to put in some footage here from a cruise ship I was on that had a Flowrider out in the back, so you'll give an idea of what you can expect. But these, they're a lot of fun. I can't surf, but the bodyboarding, I could do that one, and that's a good time. Oh, this might be my favorite part of the Kalahari Indoor Water Park. Welcome to the Paxton Grotto Bar. Now, this is a 21 and up area, so if you want to get away from the kids, send them over to Splashdown Safari while you come in here and enjoy some, some adult beverages. You could do that. The thing is a giant, wonderful Disney-esque backstory, and I absolutely love this. Not only is it something I love, like a swim-up bar, but it is in a themed setting. So you're in this giant cave, and it's the best kind of cave, one filled with beer and liquor, and it's got TV, so if you want to watch ESPN or the game is on, they uh, they do get a lot of channels here, so if you've got local Northeast sports fans, you want to watch you know, the Phillies, the Yankees, the Mets, they get all those channels at the Kalahari, and you can view it in a cave, but if you don't want to stay in the cave, well, you don't, you're, not, you're not trapped to a cave here at the Paxton Grotto Bar, as it is an indoor-outdoor bar, and it is a hot tub, so it's going to be a little bit warm in there. 
So if you get a little bit warm from uh, being in there in the heat, it does get a little warm in that cave area. You can just go, boom, outside. And this is open pretty much, I think, whenever. So it could be 10 degrees and snowing, and you could be sitting in a hot tub, you know, enjoying your Mai Tai. That's, that's a good time. Also, some pretty cool paintings and stuff out here in the outdoor section of the grotto. There's a second swim-up bar at the Kalahari. In the front left corner is the Thirsty Turtle, uh, the more adorable swim-up bar. Also, there's no cave in this one, so it's going to be a little bit cooler in there. Uh, this was unfortunately closed for maintenance during my visit, but I think it's going to be reopened by now. Right in the middle of the Kalahari, you'll find the Cracked Coconut, and this is not a swim-up bar. This is just a walk-up bar, so if you want to grab a beer and watch the kids or grab a beer and watch people on the flow rider, this is the place to do that. Here's the drink menu at the Kalahari. Now they specialize in these big 24 ounce souvenir cups. $27 to buy it the first time, and when you fill it up, it's gonna be $21 on the refill. Feel free to pause this and get a full look at any of the drink options. Uh, some of my favorites on the frozen side were that raspberry mudslide, and this is gonna be the other side, this is the on the rocks side. Now my favorite one on the rocks was absolutely the Pirate's Booty, a wonderful fruity rum drink, and this one definitely packed more of a punch when it comes to liquor than some of the other ones in, so you're getting a little bit better bang for your buck with the, the Pirate's Booty there. We'll say all the drinks I had in there, very good, very tasty. Now those are the adult hot tub areas, adults only, but there are two different family hot tubs, so don't worry if you, you, you've got little ones and kids, you can still do the hot tub thing, indoor and outdoor. There's two different ones of those, and they're, they're both pretty nice. I love the decorations of the one in the front of the park. Look at those awesome elephant sculptures. If you're looking for that second indoor outdoor family hot tub, that can be found right near the wave pool against the back wall. Now, if you get hungry while at the Kalahari, in the front of the park, you will find Cafe Mirage right under this wonderful sculpture of an elephant. And it's gonna be your quick service food area. You go there, get uh, burgers and sandwiches, but I think they really kind of specialize in different types of pizza. They got a whole bunch of different pizzas, you know, from your normal stuff to your more funky stuff. But like everything at the Kalahari, it is quite pricey. 14 inch pizza, $28. 20 inch pizza, $42. Towels are free at the Kalahari. You just gotta check them in or out with your ticket or room key. And they're really soft too, nice towels. What is not free is lockers. You could rent them at different prices depending on the size. Um, one thing I recommend, everyone go out and buy an Aqua Vault. You can pick up on, on the internet and uh, they're little kind of like mobile lockers that you clip to the back of your beach chair. Then you never have to buy a locker at a water park. A big deal at the Kalahari is cabanas. Now cabanas, you can rent them, varying costs for varying cabanas, varying cost on varying days. But some of them are really nice, like tons of sofas and chairs, a TV. This one even has its own hot tub. Uh, so this is something to definitely consider if you're going with a big group, you want to make it an extra special experience, you have tons of money, I don't know. The Kalahari also offers premium safari seating. So if you're going to the park on a busy day and you want a guaranteed table for you and your family, it's located right by the Splashdown Safari Splash Fortress area. And there we go, that is the indoor water park. It is a lot, it is awesome. If you're booking the Kalahari for the indoor water park, I don't think you'll be disappointed. Right now I'm in the main lobby of the Kalahari. It's a really, really nice lobby, very big. I love the fountain feature here with statues of all different types of African animals with crocodiles and hippopotamus. And then they have this wonderful, wonderful seating area. Big, giant, comfy couches, a, uh, a large fireplace, a really big fire, kind of like a double fireplace. And then you got some more uh, statues of animals over here. It's a really nice place to, you know, meet up with a group or something like that. And giant windows that overlook the indoor water park. It is a very large indoor water park. Let's see. Uh, yeah, that's, that's big. On the lower level beneath the lobby is where you get all the attractions here at the Kalahari. Um, this is where you'll be entering the water park and also where you will find the arcade. And it is a very, very large arcade. And what I love about the arcade, not only is it gigantic, but they, uh, they have all the latest and greatest video games. As you can see, like everything is gigantic. Um, it, it definitely feels like they, they went to IAPA and just bought the best of the best. You cash in all your tickets over here and take home a bunch of prizes. There's train games. Um, it is a awesome, awesome looking arcade. 
Ahsoka, Flintstones. You'll get your uh, all your token or your, your your game card over at these machines. I love this, the SpongeBob ticket coaster. So you have to drop a ball and try and get into the SpongeBob themed roller coaster. And they've also got the stinky feet game. Over by the Garcade, you'll find Cafe Mirage. It can be a quick service food location. Also where you can get like pizzas made to order. And uh, there's a bar down here, which is always fun. I'm a little bummed I don't have any singles on me. They have these fun fortune telling machines. You can get your fortune read by Sir Blastmore or the Chimp. More fun games in the arcade area. Look at the size of Mega Octo Store. But right near where you would enter the water park, there is a swimwear store. So if you get to the Kalahari and realize, oh no, I forgot my swim trunks, or the kids need floaties, something like that, you can buy that in here. You can also get um, souvenir pennies squashed by this gorilla, which is, um, that's fun. Now one thing I want to point out, you would enter the indoor water park over here, but there's going to be a screen, and that's going to show you pretty much what's going to be operating and what's going to be closed. So depending on what kind of day you're here, everything might not be running. We're here in kind of the off season, so there's a lot of stuff closed. Um, whether it be for maintenance or just staffing or, or whatever the reasons. Yeah, there's some sites that open in the morning and they open in the PM, like closed and then another site. Yeah, like the uh, the speed side Sahara Sidewinder and the Screaming Hyena were in the morning and then the Cheetah Racers open in the afternoon. So just make sure you uh, check this out before you go into the water park. Molly, I feel like this arcade is never going to end. No, Beer pong game to Blinko. Down the clown. Down the clown is super fun. And we, we are still yet to reach the Oh my goodness. It really never ends. No, it's giant. Holy cow. They have a whole bunch of tickets this games. Yeah. If you go all the way to the back of the arcade, you're gonna get some of the more interesting things, like the Omni VR Arena. Now the way this works is you go in that kind of your body goes in that circle, and then you could run on the floor and move around in virtual reality. Also, back over here, you're gonna find uh, some escape rooms. They've got an ancient Egypt-themed escape room called the Wrath of Anubis, and this is where you would come to play laser tag. Now, everything is going to cost money, so just be aware of that, but you can win a totally awesome burger in the arcade area. They got mini bowling, which is pretty neat. But Molly, you like... I love this table. It's so fitting for a bowl. Oh, it's Molly. wonderful. It is. They got a 7D interactive theater from our buddies over at Triotech uh, showing some of their movies, Werewolves, Zombies, and Los Bandidos. I think Zombies and Werewolves are going to be the better film, but if you have kids, definitely play Los Bandidos. Yes. They've also got some of the latest virtual reality attractions. You've got the Raging Rabbits. You've got King Kong. And then you got Storm from Triotech. Uh, these, these are pretty neat. Now, if you're curious on pricing on any of those attractions, they're all right here. Uh, Time Freak is like a little laser maze thing. Mini golf, six bucks. Mini bowling, six bucks. 70 theater, seven bucks. Uh, escape room, $20. It's not bad at all. No. And then laser tag, $12. In the arcade, under this plane is where you go to see Molly being eaten by a tiki, but also to play indoor blacklight mini golf. Uh, Six dollars a person, and uh, looks pretty nice. Let's take a look at some of this mini golf course. First hole's got a big tiki guy, and then a turtle. And I feel like we kind of hit this at a good time, because there, there seems to be nobody in here. Up oh, the, the Jeep started on up, that's fun. And a lion, giraffes. And there we go, that's, that's the first three holes. Show you more in a bit. After the first three holes, I have a commanding four stroke lead. You do. So we check out to see what's next. Very, uh, lots of Tiki God kind of stuff. And this one's got a crocodile in here. Just finished up hole five. I uh, grew the lead to five strokes. You get it, you get it. Next couple of holes here, we've got Frogs and a gorilla. We made it 
the final two holes and uh, it's still holding a five stroke lead, but this one's got lemurs on it and they're all looking this way at the wall. My friends, I did myself on this one. A hole in one. Yeah, you're now up at seven. All right, Molly, why don't we finish it up here at the final hole. It is an eight hole mini golf course. I said nine earlier, I was mistaken. I do like how they have this big explorer guy. And the last one's kind of like a ski ball hole. So you get a hole in one, two strokes, or I'm missing three. Hey, Molly, you got a hole in one. Yeah, there you go. Amazing. And he congratulates you, how nice. How nice. In the lobby area, you'll find Java Manjaro, which is kind of like a Starbucks-style location with coffee and pastries. Uh, we had a, we ate kind of late last night for dinner, so we're gonna grab some breakfast over here. Look at these cakes, chocolate knockout cake, Oreo cream pie. Oh my, seasonal cheesecakes, a cheesecake brownie, fruit tart, cupcakes. Look at the tiramisu cup that comes in a cup made out of chocolate. That's amazing. Or the chocolate mousse made in a thing made out of chocolate. Cake pops over here. Some fun cupcakes. Ooh, I love the tricolor cookies. Oh, cannolis. Now I get into more of the breakfast shop. Cream filled coffee muffin, corn muffin, double chocolate muffin, banana muffin, a scone, cinnamon roll, chocolate croissant. Ooh, monkey bread. Bagels, donuts, croissants. You also got some items here that they heat up for you. So ham, egg, and cheese strudel, bacon, egg, and cheese croissant. Ooh, look at the little sausage slider. It's really cute. A bacon, egg, and cheese bagel. French toast sticks, grilled cheese. And then a whole bunch of sandwiches. <laughs> In the lobby area, you'll find the Great Karoo Marketplace Buffet. And this is used for, on the, our visit, it's only being used for breakfast. Breakfast runs 7.30 to 11.30. Uh, $19 for adults, $12 for kids. And some nights it does run dinner, I guess. One of the most interesting displays of the Kalahari is right here next to the buffet. And I believe these are all like taxidermy animals mm -hmm. that can be found in Africa. You see a variety of, of hornbills. I just like the sign, it changes every so often. Yes, and tells you all sorts of information about those animals, where they're found, and some fun facts. Um, yeah, you could spend some time over here. Even the lobbies near the elevators are really nice here at the Kalahari. You got this awesome, uh, like, kind of bronze gorilla mm -hmm. and some very comfy chairs. Now, if there's one thing me and Molly are not, that is big spa people, but they do have a spa Kalahari and a salon Kalahari, which I imagine would be very popular if you come with like a bigger group and maybe, you know, mom wants to go and relax and get away from the kids. It looks nice. It does, and they've got a whole bunch of different treatments. Uh, feel free to pause and zoom in if you want any of the prices on that, but uh, I don't know what a lot of this stuff means. Also, some more little touches. The Kalahari is really cool. African artwork or paintings or pictures all over the place, whether it be at a common guest floor or like when you're walking in between rooms. I really like these. Yes. That are ever so often. Uh, really cool stuff. The Kalahari has two main purposes, the indoor water park resort, but they also have a very, very large convention center. And we're not going to a convention, so it's not really our thing. But right near the entrance of the convention center, it's this awesome uh, sculpture of a tree. Oh, really? That's really neat, and it changes different it's colors. Cool. Yeah, and gigantic. If you are coming to the Kalahari with a bigger group, you can actually rent out the flow rider in uh, the morning or the evening for a, a private session. Located right by the arcade, you'll find the fitness center here at the Kalahari. Uh, not too big, but they do have a lot of machines. In the main lobby area, you'll get the last bite, which is the candy and ice cream shop. And uh, I imagine this is very popular with the kids oh, that yeah. come to the Kalahari. Like that apple worm looks yeah. good. Not big into apples though. No, but they do have a lot of sweets. Chocolate covered bacon with pecans. Yeah, look at these partners. Those are nice, with yeah. the logo of the shop on them. Ooh, a peanut butter button, that looks good. Ooh, a raspberry truffle. Yeah, that's definitely you. Yes. 
uh, chocolate covered pretzels in a uh, large variety. Got some more character driven stuff. Ooh, that is very me. Birthday troubles. Yeah, that is you. Oh, look at the M&M &M covered chocolate Oreos. That is more me. Yes. That looks good. Ooh, chocolate covered strawberries and cherries. This is nice. Doggy treats. Yeah, that's really great. Mm -hmm. uh, there is also going to be an ice cream area. So if you're in the mood for some ice cream or some frozen novelties like balls of cookie dough. Mm, cookie dough. Operating in the summer between Memorial Day and Labor Day, there is an outdoor pool section to the Kalahari and the Poconos. Now, not too extravagant out here. There is a big old pool complete with a swim up bar, so you know it's got my attention. And also in the outdoor section, you will find a kids splash area themed to bugs called Bugs Burrow. Tonight for dinner, we're gonna be eating at B Lux Burger Shakes and Fries. It's located right here in the main lobby area. So we sat down, we're gonna have dinner at the bar, but to kind of get away from some of the kids and get a little bit faster service, quicker beers. Yep. A uh, menu in here, very nice sports bar type menu. Uh, shareables, your starters, cheese curds. We've had those, they're really good. Pretzel as big as your face. A uh, load of tots, onion rings, a couple different soups and salads. Of course, we're being a sports bar, gotta have wings. As well as a couple of different variations on mac and cheese. Uh, pretty fun there. And then obviously, Felix Burgers is famous for their burgers. And lots of fun, weird stuff too, like burgers with cheese curds and a buffalo wing on top. Uh, burgers with a whole bunch of different types of cheese. Uh, feel free to pause the menu if you want to see this in more. And then uh, they have crazy, crazy milkshakes as well, which you get loaded with booze or no booze. And the thing I love, they got a really, really nice draft beer selection. Uh, a lot of seasonal stuff too. I'm drinking a Purple Monkey dishwasher from Evil Deeds, and uh, just a really, really nice draft list. Uh, beers are gonna run you about eight, nine bucks, but a uh, nice list. They also have the various sports on, which is good because I'm a big sports fan. Dinner is served. I went with some garlic parmesan wings. They look really good. Yeah. Molly got the breakfast for dinner burger. Now she did make a substitution. It's supposed to come on an English muffin, but you got it on just a normal burger bun. Uh, bacon fried egg and smashed tater top. Uh, food pricey, but looks pretty good. In front of the hotel, you do have a really nice photo op with the big Kalahari sign in the back and a hippo and a baby hippo out front. You get giraffes behind you. Yeah. And they're supposed to be like eating that tree. Out of the parking lot area, there is a playground, which I'm sure is very popular with all the kids. Further out in the parking lot area, there's two more photo ops. You got an elephant with baby elephants. Just giving you an idea of where these are. And then a really cool lion statue. On the other side of the road is Gorilla Grove, which is zip lines, rope courses, mini golfs, outdoor mini golf, I should say. Now this is not open right now. It is only open during the summertime, but uh, looks like a pretty good mini golf. And then over here is zip line courses and rope courses. Right by the market in the lobby area, you have probably the cutest photo op in all the Kalahari. You got some neat art right in the lobby area. And uh, if you really like it, you can take it home for you with you for a lot of cash. Right in the lobby area, you'll find Cinco Ninos, which is the modern Mexican kitchen and tequileria, which is where we're gonna go and have dinner. We have sat down for dinner. I'm gonna take a look at the menu. We got a couple different types of appetizers. Uh, chips and salsa, unlike many restaurants, not included. So that is gonna be an appetizer. As only with nachos or different types of nachos. We do have guacamole and queso. A couple different types of soups and salads. And then over here for entrees, uh, chicken or carne asada, enchiladas and burritos quesadillas, tacos, 
fajitas. And then you got a couple different types of sides. They do have a very large uh, beverage menu as well. I have to drive in a little bit or else I'd be really tempted to do the $48 millionaire margarita prepared table side and served on a silver platter. Molly got the house margarita, which I think was 12 bucks, but it's pretty big and uh, presented beautifully. Yeah. Dinner is served. Molly, you went with the queso enchiladas. Mm -hmm. Looks good. So, uh, refried beans or black beans and then mix with rice. I went simple, just went for a chicken quesadilla. Some dipping sauces. Also, one thing that's really nice about this restaurant, they have like USB charging ports and charging outlets both at the tables and then below the bar. Which is really nice. Yeah. Over by the convention center, you'll find Sortino's Italian Kitchen. Unfortunately, not open during our visit. We're here on a Wednesday and Thursday, but it's gonna be an upscale, modern Italian restaurant. Uh, we wanted to eat here because we've been to a couple different Kalahari's. Uh, this is the first one we have seen one of these. And I imagine like the menu looks really good. Of course, it's gonna be beers and stuff like that. <laughs> I was gonna say, as but it, it's pastas and pizzas. <laughs> yes, it looks really good. On the first floor, right by the convention center, you'll find Double Cut, the Charcoal Grill, and Liquor Bar. Now, this is the steakhouse here at the Kalahari. Yes, we've eaten a, one of these yes. different Kalahari. at the Kalahari in the Wisconsin Dells. Um, it was awesome. It's a really cool room, too. Like, there's fire and things like that. But it is, uh, you know, a lot of stuff here at the Kalahari is expensive. This is definitely going to be the most expensive. Like With the I'm, appetizer or the bacon. Yeah, when we were here, they had a hanging bacon appetizer. It was awesome, but I, I believe when I looked at the prices this time, you know, for if you want a filet mignon, it's gonna cost you like $55. So while everything at the Kalahari is pretty expensive, this is going to be... A little bit more. Yeah, a little bit more on the upscale. The, uh, yeah. yeah, it's really neat. Also makes sense that this is right by the convention center. Right by the buffet, you'll find a press penny machine. If you are a collector of press pennies, you can get these different designs for 76 cents. I love how many machines are like sort of all around there. So this one, it is souvenir medallions. I don't think they say Kalahari on them. They just show off uh, different animals in Africa, like the elephant. Oh nope, they say Kalahari on the back. In the lobby area, you'll find the Marrakesh Market. Kind of like grab-and-go food, that kind of thing. I do want to mention the popcorn. Um, $15 for a souvenir bucket, a little pricey. But your refills, as long as you're here, $2. And you've got all sorts of stuff in here. A lot of kind of your... Well, you got a ton of coffee mugs. Holy cow. <laughs> if you want a coffee mug, yeah. You'll definitely be able to find it in here. Uh, selection of various beers. Uh, shirts. Yeah. Sweaters. A lot of souvenirs in here as well. A little 3D glass thing. Look at that, like a collection of like espresso cups. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. And then a lot of snacks and things that you might need. Sodas, souvenir t-shirts. Was not expecting to see this. Uh, you get soups. That, that was not something I would guess. And then a lot of kind of grocery and uh, snack items. You have a new uh, ice cream. I, ice cream. Which is great for kids. Yes. Bakery item. Man, this store is massive. Chips, bakery items, giant thing of goldfish. <laughs> uh, you are going to be paying a premium in here, like this giant thing of goldfish. I think probably is 6 or $7 in the store. Uh, normally it's $15, so you're definitely paying a bit of that the Kalahari premium. Christmas ornaments, coffee, teas. Yeah, this is a quite the store. And then it goes on to more souvenirs. Uh, this is kind of cool. This section is all imported from Africa. That is awesome. Yeah. Um, very important here. This is going to be all your toiletry stuff. So if you forgot something very important or you need like, oh, I've got a headache or Jimmy's got a cold, things like that, you can come here and, you know, kind of take care of it. I love this sweater. Oh, that's adorable. Like with all the characters that they have? That is very, very cute. That is. More Kalahari souvenirs. Um, if 
You got more Kalahari sweatshirts. Yeah, if you're looking for a shirter. Yeah, you'll definitely be able to find something with the Kalahari on it. This is a, I can't believe the size of the store. And I think we have. This bag is nice too. Yeah, a nice like soft beach bag kind of thing. Yeah. Like a sweatshirt kind of material. Uh-huh. Tank tops and there you go. You're, you're definitely not gonna <laughs> find, if you wanna find something with Kalahari on it, you'll definitely find it. Not open during our stay, but we're not here at a, a particularly busier time. They do have a kid's store by the lobby area with lots of plushies and things like that. In the main lobby area, you'll also find the Kalahari art post, which is going to be a lot of, uh, a lot more Kalahari souvenirs. So it's a lot of sweatshirts, Most, mostly sweatshirts, a couple of plushies and things like that. Bags. Yeah. Now let's show you around our room here at the Kalahari in the Poconos. We're in 6271, which when we booked the hotel room, this was the cheapest room we could possibly book. And it was also the honeymoon suite. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> uh, Molly, you and I have stayed in a lot of hotels. We've never had one with a heart-shaped tub. Nope, no, that's a first. It was no, no, very relaxing last night though, especially because you could hang out in the heart-shaped tub and watch like the biggest TV I've ever had in a hotel room. Yep. Um, the room, it's really, really nice. Uh, the, the tub and all the mirrors for tub stuff or whatever. And then you've got a fireplace underneath the TV. Yeah. Very really relaxing. nice. Yeah. And like you said, the biggest TV. Oh, it's gigantic. I, I wish I had this TV at home. Um, you know, a desk over here if you got to get any work done. I will say the internet here at the hotel, very, very fast. I had to do some in-loop business stuff. Uh, you know, downloading. It's a slower day at the hotel. Yes, but uh, for me it was very, very fast. Uh, probably faster than my internet at home. Mm -hmm. um, you've got a pretty comfy couch over here. A very comfy, very, very large bed. Um, the bathroom area is kind of interesting because it's kind of separated into three parts. You've got a, a pretty good sized mini fridge as well as a microwave. No ice bucket though. Which is yeah, no ice bucket, just an ice bag. They do have ice bags by the ice machines. Mm -hmm. Uh, and nice little touches like the the towels over here by the vanity. You need to look like an elephant. Mm -hmm. um, so here, obviously, we get prepared for your day. And I love their uh, shampoos and conditioners. Yes, they have really, really good products. Um, you do have a very nice shower. And it's interesting because the shower room can be sectioned off from the bathroom room, which I, I don't quite understand. So, because you can't get to one without going through the other. Like logistically. But it's a honeymoon suite. I, I guess so, yeah. Someone needs uh, to do their business. Yeah. Um, finishing it off, we do have a, a balcony as well. We got some nice artwork with elephants on it. Um, not, not the most amazing of views out here. Ooh. And I just locked myself in. Yeah, I was gonna say I thought it was a lot. <laughs> All right. So you do need to get some fresh air. Uh, not really stunning views of any type. We can see down by the convention center there's a big barbecue, which I guess they use for you know some special events. Yeah, events. There is um just like give you a look of how big their convention center is here. Like it's it's a pretty good size expo center. And there we go, that is our state room. State room, hotel room. And that'll do it for my time at the Kalahari Indoor Water Park Resort in the Poconos. And it is awesome. It is so neat. Everything is so well done. The indoor water park is amazing. Some really great slides. My favorite, Wild Wildebeest, Anaconda, and the Smoke That Thunders. Love the swim-up bar in the cave. The room was beautiful. The whole resort was beautiful. But also, some negatives, it is very, very expensive. My room on a weekday in May was over $300. The food's expensive. The drinks are expensive. So if you're planning a trip to the Kalahari, just, just be prepared to bring your wallet. Because, man, it does get pretty pricey. But it is also a great time. If you got any questions about the Kalahari, let me know in the comments section below. And thank you very much for watching this video.